Hello, my third through fifth graders. I miss you guys so much. Uh, today, we're going to start um, with patterns. Now, a fancy word for patterns these days is called Zentangled. And we are going to start this, and we're going to do this project, but it's going to lead into another project. So this is step one. This is kind of your warm-up. So what I would like you to do is you just get a regular piece of paper. I'm going to put this here just so we can see it. And you're going to take and you're going to try and fold the piece of paper corner to corner. Crease that down. Go ahead and crease this one down. And you're going to open this up and you're going to fold it this way. And what you're doing is you're making eight sections on your piece of paper. Okay. You're going to want to use a ruler for this next part. And I am going to refold these just so I can get them in. Then you are going to, so what I do is I use a ruler and I just kind of put this here like that so I can make sure it's nice and straight. I am right handed so I'm going to use a black marker, use my left hand, hold the ruler, and I'm going to draw a line. Now I have a piece of paper under here to keep me so that if I go off the page it's not going to um, get on my nice furniture if you're doing this on your parents good furniture. Um, so I'm going to take the ruler and just kind of push it. And then I'm going to go to the next one, I'm going to push up. And then I'm going to do the same here so that I have made ni uh, eight nice lines. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to make eight different patterns with one color each. Okay. So like here. And of course I like the rainbow so I went in rainbow order. So I made a pattern. Remember, a pattern is something that repeats itself, like A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, or A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So it repeats itself. So on this one, I have, I drew waves, then I drew dots, and then I drew zigzags, dots and zigzags, dots and zigzags. This one is dash and broken lines, and it's a pattern all over. This one's like a spiral, curved. This one's a checkerboard. Okay, so let me give you a hint about this one. The reason why these lines look like this is because when I used my ruler, you saw me, I used a black, and so this side becomes black. And because I used uh, Crayola markers, the Crayola, Crayola markers picked up the black from my ruler that created this. So if you're gonna use yellow and, and you're gonna use a ruler, you might want to clean the side of your ruler or use a different ruler to do your yellow. Otherwise, this will show up. So, um, beautiful oops. So, this is a pattern of a bunch of dots. They're all the same, but they're dots. This one's a wavy, and then I added dots in between. It kind of looks like a web, like a net. This one is like a curve and a spiral with dots. And then this one looks like a wood grain. Okay, so I want you to draw eight different patterns in these sections with different colors, like this one's one color, this one's one color, this one's another, and so forth, okay? So I have this chart up at school that y'all have probably seen, but you probably didn't know what, what it was. But if you look at this section, there's all these patterns that are here, and they're all different. Okay, here's another one. So I'm showing you these as, as inspiration. So if you get stumped on what kind of patterns to draw, pause the video and look at this Zentangle chart that I have. Okay, because there's so many patterns that you can create. There's no right or wrong, but remember a pattern is something that repeats itself. Let's see, I have some more patterns down here. Okay, so again, patterns 
and zentangles. Zentangles is just a fancy new word for pattern, but patterns have been around forever. So I want y'all to do this and work on this. And remember, each section has its own color, so you could focus on the pattern. All right. Um, and then next time we will start a different project. Bye, guys, and miss you.